The off-road driving might be impressive, but the de rigueurs and the autonomous operation is less so. As if the standard for modern luxury vehicles, the Bente GA pairs its adaptive cruise control with an automatic lane keeping function for short stints of hands-off driving. But like many of them, Bentley system tends to either ping pong back and forth in the lane or crowd the middle of the road with the wheels nearly on the center line. If you signal to pass the car in front, it won't pull out like the Tesla Model S does, but it will accelerate toward the car ahead, which seems like the wrong order of operations. We found the system more annoying than helpful, fighting us with little steering wheel tugs on even our most relaxed lines through corners. Where once there were rumble strips and other motorists honking, now there's electric power steering jerking the car back and forth. It's not necessarily more graceful than the old system, but at least it's less obnoxious to other motorists. W for win. But don't worry, the Bente GA is fully capable of being obnoxious. The all-new 6.0-liter W12 grinds out 600 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 664 pounds-feet of toward from 1350 to 4500 and will whip this horse to 60 miles per hour in a claim for seconds flat. That's sure to whiten the eyes of occupants and bystanders alike. The new W12 shares its bore spacing with its predecessor but no parts. Bentley shaved 66 pounds from this generation. An impressive feat with such a dense box of mechanical parts. Engineers pulled precious ounces from everything the block, heads, crank, and cams to name just a few. The one system that isn't lighter is a fuel injection, which now has direct and port injectors. That idle and under full load, the direct injectors do their precise work, while the port injectors are engaged at part throttle, when they're said to better mix fuel and air while reducing emissions. Bentley also claims the W12 is 10% more efficient than its predecessor, with cylinder deactivation shutting down six cylinders when conditions are right and a sail mode that decouples the engine from the transmission when the driver is off the throttle at higher speeds. We notice neither system at work. Product line director Guest says that twin scroll turbos are much of the reason the W12 is all new. The engineers couldn't fit the faster spooling turbos onto the old engine. Here. They're so snug against the block that they're almost integrated into it. And they actually are integrated into the exhaust manifolds. New oil pumps make sure the turbos get a steady supply of fresh oil even at extreme off-road angles. Immaculate interior. Guest also tells us that the sound insulation that enables Bentley's famously serene interiors means that those worried about off-road dust in their Bentleys have nothing to fear. Like any Bentley. The Bente GA uses triple seals around all openings, and sound waves are smaller than any particulates. Once you've insulated for noise, you've insulated for everything, he says. The Bente GA's interior is one you want to keep pristine. Buyers can't choose from 15 colors of hide to trim the cabin, in three different two-tone layouts, plus contrast for matched stitching and piping. There are seven different veneers heck, there are 14 different seat belt colors. Not only does the instrument panel still use physical gauges with real needles, but those gauges are protected behind a sheet of actual mineral glass, rather than the plastic used on just about every other vehicle. The speaker grills are even designed to mimic high-end stitching. And of course that's only the beginning. Buyers can spend $5,715 on extra cost paints, $7,870 for the Turing Specification Technology Package. $11,015 to replace the three-place rear bench with two individual thrones, $7,155 for a pair of removable tablets to put in front of those seats, and $28,500 on carbon fiber trim. Plus, a ton of other stuff, including pie-in-the-sky customization. It's pretty easy to send the base price of a Bente GA from $232,000 to well north of three hundred dollars but the coolest and most appalling thing in the Bente GA interior is the optional Breitling clock set atop the dashboard. It's available in either white or rose gold, with a face of black or white mother of pearl, and studded with eight diamonds. Cost. 150,000 euros, or about $160,000. Only a handful of craftspeople make the clocks which take three months apiece. That exclusivity guarantees that Bentley will sell the for it can offer every year. Even without that clock, the Bente GA should vacuum massive amounts of cash into Bentley's coffers. As the Volkswagen Group, 
in the wake of its diesel scandal, scrutinizes the business case for every last model in its portfolio. Maybe Bugatti will want to take its own crack at that world's fastest truck business.